guys welcome back to my youtube channel eliza fi creative i know it's been a little bit since i've posted a video i've just been a little bit busy so i'm going to try and get back to the saturday postings but today i'm going to be sharing with you how to set up a sticker in adobe illustrator just like the one i have on my screen here you can do this with any design um so i'm going to be sharing with you two websites that i use to make stickers along with if you want to take your file to a local print shop but before i get started please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so first things first is I want to make sure that my design is grouped, so I'm just selecting it and then hitting Command G on my keyboard. And then I want to duplicate the design on top of itself, so I'm selecting it and then hitting Command C and Command B to paste behind. So if you look over here in the layers, you will see that I have two of the same graphic, just one is below. Then what we're going to do is make sure that we have the bottom layer selected. We're going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance, and then back up to Object and Expand. And you should get a box that looks like this and hit OK. Then we're going to go into the Pathfinder tool. So you should have something that looks like this. And then we're going to go into the Pathfinder tool. We're going to hit Unite. It might take a little bit depending, how, depending on how complicated your design is. So just be patient with it. Don't hit the stop button. It's not frozen. Just give it its time. Um, so once that's done, I will show you the next steps. So then you should have a, a shape that looks just like the shape of your design. So if you drag this over, you can see that it actually follows the shape. Um, so now what we're going to do is just align this to the artboard and make sure that it's directly aligned underneath the design. And then we're going to go up to Object, Path, and then Offset Path, and we're going to add an outline. And this is going to be the outline of our sticker. Once I hit OK after adding that outline, we're going to go up to Object, Expand, and then Pathfinder and Unite, just to make sure nothing's wonky. And then we're gonna color it white. So I'm going to go to a website called Sticker Mule. I'm gonna go up to Stickers, and then Die Cut Stickers. And then I'm going to select my quantity and size. Once I do that, I'm going to hit Continue, and this artwork page should come up. But I need to know the guideline artwork, so I'm gonna go up to Help, and then I'm going to click what file formats do you accept. So I actually have used this site before. This is just for your reference so you know where to look if you need to know what type of file that they accept. You can watch this video. It's a really well done video. Um, so once I'm done looking at this, I'm going to go up to the sticker menu again and select my quantity and size like I showed you in the previous frames there and then i'm going to hit continue and then i'm going to go back to illustrator and actually save my graphic as an illustrator file so i'm just going to select it and then go to a new document and then i'm just going to set it up right in the center of the artboard and save it out as a illustrator file like i said i'm going to go back to sticker mule and upload my file and hit open and then once it's done uploading i'm gonna hit continue you should get a page that looks like this i'm going to hit checkout and then you can fill in your information the second website i'm going to go to is vistaprint i love vistaprint i use it quite often um, so i'm going to hit label stickers and packaging i'm going to hit custom die cut stickers i'm going to select my size and quantity and then hit upload and go um, with this website i'm actually going to upload a png um, i've used this website quite often so i know what files to use so i'm going to go back to illustrator i'm going to go to file export save as use save as a PNG and make sure it has a transparent background and hit OK. I'm going to go back to Vistaprint and upload the file. I'm going to hit open and once it's done uploading, you scroll down to the bottom and hit submit. 
once you've hit submit, it's going to tell you that it will take up to four hours to get an email in your design, which is a proof. And then you confirm your file and then you place your order. So I'm just going to go check out my email, see what I got from Vistaprint. And it just says to sit back and relax and wait. So that should take up to four hours. Um, if you're going to take your sticker to a local print shop, it is set up a little bit differently. This is kind of for designers, but if you're actually curious how it works at a print shop, I'm going to set this up. So what we need to do is create a cut contour first. So what that means is that the machine actually gets information from a cut contour to cut around your shape. So what we're gonna do is actually duplicate the white part and on top of the design. So what I'm going to do is hit Command C and Command F. I'm then just gonna move this over to the side so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to select it. We're gonna to go to our swatches and double click on the magenta. And you should get a box that looks like this. We're going to change it to a spot color. And then we're going to make sure it's 100% magenta. And we're going to call the swatch name Cut Contour. And we're, we have to make sure that there's a capital C on both the cut and the contour. And then we're going to hit OK. We're going to kill the fill and make sure that the stroke is that cut contour. We're going to lay this back over the design. So that will be our cut path. And that's where the machine will actually cut around the design. So that white is the vinyl. Um, let's say you want a colored background and you want it to bleed right to the edge. So what you need to do is actually color the background. So let's color it, I don't know, maybe gray or something. Um, so we'll color it that gray. And then what we need to do is actually add a bleed past the cut path because if you send this to the local print shop and then they send this to their cutter it will cut the file but you'll have a little bit of a white path around the edge a little bit because the machine may shift so we add a bleed to add the bleed select the gray go up to object path and offset path and then I'm just going to add 0.125 of a bleed and then hit OK. And then you have your bleed. So if we zoom in and we look at what we have, we have that gray background there. We have the pink outline, which is the cut path, and that won't be shown or printed when it's printed. And then we have that bleed. So when it's sent to the cutter, it will cut directly around the shape and it will bleed right to the edge of the sticker so you won't have any white around the sticker at all and it will bleed correctly. So that's how to set up a sticker for two online stores and a local print shop. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.